second week of our balance class. And um, again, my name's Logan, in case anyone forgets. And um, before we begin, I, I'm just going to point out that we have these uh, resource booklets available for any older adults um, who may not be able to access this video. So if you know someone who you think may benefit from, we have a resource booklet here with exercises uh, and information on it. So it explains about how to get back up onto your feet from a fall. Uh, there's exercises in it on warm-ups, pictures and guides and how to do everything. Again, then there's exercise programs for people to follow. It's a great resource for uh, any older adult uh, to use, especially someone who you may think is a bit vulnerable and doesn't have access uh, to any exercise at the minute. Um, if you want to get one of these booklets, um, we have an email address up top there, so that's trina.torpedo at leadcoco.ie. So if you just pop Trina an email uh, and request one of these booklets, um, she will post it out to you then. Um, or if you just want to find out any other information about uh, older adults activities, uh, she's the best person to get in contact with. Um, so we're going to start with our warm up now. Okay, so to begin our warm up, we're just going to move out from the back of the chair. So we want to have a gap between our back and the chair. So we're not resting against the back of the chair. Okay, we're sitting up nice and tall. All four feet of the chair are flat on the ground. Both our feet are nice and flat on the ground. All right. If your chair is wobbling or it's not in a steady position, move it around again in a steady position or maybe switch chairs. Okay. So we're going to begin. I'm just going to roll the ankles first. Get the joints moved, warmed up. And back in the opposite direction. Okay, and then pull your toes back towards you and point them away. Pull your toes back towards you and point them away. Pull the toes back towards you, point them away. Again, keep going. One more time, in and out. Okay, so put nice and flat on the ground again. We're going to go with the opposite leg now. So again, rolling that foot around clockwise to begin with. And we're going to go the opposite way. So if you have any aches or pains in any of these exercises or in the warm-up, you can always just sit out for that exercise and move on to the next one. Okay, so stop that and then just pull the toes in and point away. Pull the toes in, point away. Keep doing that. Nice and controlled. All the way in, all the way out. Okay, feet back to the floor now. So now we're just going to wrap them on the spot, lifting the feet up and down. Just nice and gently to begin with. And as you get comfortable, you can lift the legs up a little bit higher as we go. right leg here, we're just going to lift it up nice and high and out to the side to bring it back in again. Nice and high and out to the side. It's just imagine the dog or your cup of tea is sitting down at the bottom of the floor and you're just trying to lift your leg up over it. Out to the side and back in. Just trying to open in those hips out. Get the joint moving. Okay, we'll just go one more time. Out and back in. Okay, and onto my left leg. Again, out to the side and back in. You can hold the sides of your chair for a bit of support and balance. But just remember, keep your back out from resting on the back of the chair. You have to stay up nice and tall the whole way through our exercises. One more. And back we go. Okay. So this time we're going to get the feet moving again, except this time we're just going to lift the knees up a little bit higher and you're going to try and move on the chair now. So you're getting the legs up enough that you can just move around nice and slow. Don't have to be too fast. You can take smaller steps. Don't need to have big steps each time. 
And again, if you're feeling any pain or any discomfort in any of these exercises, you can just sit out and move on to the next one. So we're just going to do this one more time, all the way around. again. And we'll just come back to the center. Okay, so that's the lower body done just for now. We're going to start working on the upper body a wee bit. So we're just going to get the hands and the fingers warmed up first. So you're just going to touch each finger off the thumb. Try not to look. Try and keep the hands down and look straight ahead. And just get those fingers moving. Try and touch each one. And then we're just going to get the fingers moving all at the same time as if you're an expert on the piano. Just get them moving up and down, up and down. And we're going to move it into the wrists now. So we're just rolling the wrists around. Try and keep the elbows and the shoulder steady. And we're just moving the wrists best you can. So you can go nice and slow, concentrate on moving them around and then we're going to change direction. Again, nice and steady, nice and controlled. If you have a watch or any jewellery that's hampering you from doing this, just take it off. Get these exercises done right. Okay, so we'll stop that. Start with the hands out in front, pull them up towards you and back down. Up towards you and back down. It. Again, any pain or any aches during any of these exercises, you just move on to the next one. Okay, and we're going to get the arms fully moved into this one now. So we're just going to bring the arms up, hands to try and touch the shoulders, and let them swing back down again. So just up, touch the shoulders, and back down. Nice and controlled all the time. comfortable you can just let the arms swing a little bit more okay last one all right so again keeping the arms warmed up we're just going to push out in front and squeeze as we come back so push out in front and squeeze the back trying to squeeze the shoulder blades together as you come back so again just find your range of movement nice and controlled you don't have to bring the arms up too high, you can do it a bit lower down if it's more comfortable, if you have any pain or stiffness in the shoulder. Just find your range of motion where it's comfortable to do the exercise, don't force yourself through any pain. And again, if it does cause any pain, you can just skip this and move on to the next bit. So again, just keep pushing out, and back, out, and back, out, and back. Alright, now we're just going to get the lower back warmed up a little bit. So this time, just keep the hands on the knees, the feet firmly flat on the ground. Again, make sure that the seat is nice and flat on the ground for this one, alright? And you're just going to lean forward and back up nice and tall. Lean forward and back up nice and tall. Nice and controlled each time. Don't go too far forward, so just where you're comfortable and then come back up. And as you go, if you're feeling a bit more comfortable, you can lean out a little bit further, but again, only as comfortable as you're comfortable. And back up. So we're just going to move the head now. So just turn to the left and to the right. Nice and controlled. Not too fast. nice and controlled and then slowly just roll the head clockwise and just find a range of motion that's comfortable for you 
you don't have to make too big a circles. And then we're going to go back the opposite way. Again, find a range of motion that's comfortable for you. If it causes any pain, just move on to the next exercise. Okay, and then last one before we get into the good stuff. We're just going to roll the shoulders. So lifting the shoulders up as if you're trying to get the shoulders to rub off the ears. Up and back. Up and back. That's it. Keep it going. And we'll try and change direction, so bring them back and forward. Again, try and get them up nice and tall at the top. And back down. And that's us all warmed up for now. So you can take a quick drink of water. And then we're going to get into uh, the main exercises now. Where we work on a bit of strength and a bit of balance. This exercise is called the seated leg raise. So, to begin, make sure our chair is nice and flat on the ground, nice and steady. Again, we need that gap between our back and the chair, so you just move your bum out from the back of the chair, feet flat on the ground, sit up nice and tall. So, you can hold on to the side of the chair for a bit of balance if you need to. And then we're going to begin on the right leg, just lifting the leg up, hold and down. Lifting up, hold and down. Nice and controlled each time. Just takes a second or two to bring the leg up, hold it for a second or two, and then one or two seconds on the way back down. We're just going to repeat this for 10 times. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. We're just going to rest for about 20 seconds. So while you're taking your rest, you can have a drink of water or just assess yourself, make sure you're feeling okay. Again, if it causes any pain during the exercise, just sit this one out. You can do it on the opposite leg or just sit out the exercise completely and move on to the next one. So off we go again, bring that right leg up and back down nice and controlled each time. Controlling the way up and the way down. So it should be a nice smooth movement all the time. Shouldn't be going faster on the way up or on the way down. Just halfway there. One more. And ten. Okay. So again, just give yourself another twenty seconds rest or so, and we move on to the left leg. So we've done our two sets on the right. On to the left leg's torn now. So again, right foot stays flat on the ground, and we lift the left knee up and back down, nice and controlled. Just the exact same on the opposite leg. Three, four, six. Two more. Nine. And ten. If ten reps is too hard, you're finding it very tiring, just bring the reps down. So five is tasking enough for you. Just do five for the time being and you can build it up as time goes on. So again, we have our about 20 second rest before we start again. Off we go, lifting the leg up and back down. Nice and controlled each time. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we've two sets done on each leg. If you feel like you need to do more, you can always add in an extra set or a couple of extra reps if it's not tasking enough for you. And if it's too difficult, just do one set to begin with on each leg 
or even reduce the reps down on each leg. On to the next. This exercise is called the leg extension. So again, chair is nice and flat, sitting up nice and tall, keep your back out from the back of the chair, both feet flat on the ground to begin with. So we will start with our right leg, so the left leg stays flat on the ground, and we're just going to sit up nice and tall and extend the right leg out in front and back down. So if it causes any pain in the knee or the hip, you can just sit out of this exercise and move on to the next one. Again, just find a range of motion that's comfortable for you, that's working the leg, okay, so you should feel the leg being worked here, alright, the top of the leg. Nine, and we're just going to do one more. And ten. All right. So, find your range of motion again. If you can only bring it up this far and that's task enough, that's perfectly okay. You'll build your strength up as time goes on. So we'll take a few seconds rest in between each set. Okay, so moving on again. Right leg again, left foot stays flat on the ground. I'm just going to extend the leg out in front and back down. Three, five, nine. I'm just going to do one more. And ten. Okay. So we'll move on to the left leg now in a few seconds. We'll just rest for a wee bit. So, again, just assess your seating position. Make sure your back's out from the chair, up nice and tall. Right foot's going to stay flat on the ground this time. And we're going to extend at the right left knee this time, okay? So, left leg out. And back down nice and controlled. Again, find the range of motion that's comfortable for you. Make sure we're feeling it here on the top of the leg. Two more, nine, and ten, well done. Again, if you're feeling any pain or discomfort, always just sit this one out and move on to your next exercise. Okay, so we get to go again. Again, right leg flat on the ground, extending at the left knee, sit up nice and tall. One, two, Here on the top of the leg, six, finish two more, nine, and ten. Okay, so that's a leg extension done. This exercise is called the calf raise. So, again, back out from the chair, bum flat, feet flat on the ground. Now, you can do this exercise one leg at a time both legs together. We're going to do both legs together but if you're finding that too tasking just do one leg at a time. So one leg at a time will look like this. So we'll keep one leg flat and the other one will be working. All right now we're going to begin with both legs. All right so both feet flat, rest your hands down by your side for a bit of balance and you're just going to push up onto your toes and come back down. So up onto your toes and back there, nice and controlled on the way up. Hold the top for a second and smooth on the way back there. That's it. So you're controlling those heels on the way back there, and we don't just let them fall back into the floor. Just going to do two more. Last one, pushing down into the ground with the toes. And back there, nice and controlled. And again, we'll take a few seconds break. If you're feeling that there's not enough break during any of these exercises, all you have to do is hit pause in the video, give yourself a little bit extra time to rest, and when you feel ready, just press play again. So we're going to go again with this one. Again, start off with your feet flat, rest your hands down, sit up nice and tall, and push those toes down into the ground. 
fields come up. It's one done. Two. Three. Four. Six. So, as you can see, some of these exercises are quite easy or simple to do. You could do them while you're watching the telly or just after you've had your lunch sitting at the kitchen table. Last one, pushing up and back down. So that's our calf raise. This next exercise is called seated to standing. All right. So again, we have our space between our back and the chair. Bum begins nice and flat, and our feet are nice and flat on the ground. All right. So important this time, try and keep your hands from resting on top of your legs here. Okay. We want to try and keep them down by our side through this exercise. And all you're going to do is push it down into your heels. Stand up, nice and controlled on the way back down. So a taller chair helps with this. So if you find your chair might be a bit too low, if you have a taller chair, that'll work better for this exercise. So where we're going to begin now, so standing up and then come back to our seated position. So off we go, up and back down, nice and controlled on the way down. Our chair is always going to be there to catch us. And if you're feeling a bit uncomfortable with your chair, you can push it up against the wall so you know it's definitely not going to slide or move anywhere. It's always going to be behind you. Nice and controlled, down and back up. Again, trying to keep those hands free that we're not using them to push off our legs. We're just going to do two more reps now. Last one, nice and tall, and controlled on the way back there. So we're just going to rest here for a few seconds and then we'll begin again. So like I said, because this exercise is a bit more, uses a bit more of your muscle, it might take a bit longer for you to recover from this one, but you might need to do a few less reps the next time. So instead of doing 10 reps, maybe you only do 5 or 6. If you're feeling all right, we're going to get back into our second set. If you need to take a bit more time to rest, that's okay. All you need to do is hit pause in the video and press play when you're ready. So if anyone's ready, we're going to begin now. Up we go. And back down. Two. Three. If you're starting to feel tired, you can just sit down now and rest. You don't need to continue. Finish. Just do two more. Last one. Up. And back down. So again, we'll rest for a few few seconds now before we move on to our next exercise. This exercise is called the standing leg crawl, okay? So I'm going to use my chair because it's a good solid chair. Um, you may need to use a countertop or tabletop. Somewhere you can rest your hands and you're confident that it's going to support your weight if you need to lean on it or rest on it a little bit more, all right? So we're going to be working the back of the leg here. All you're going to do, rest the hands, stand up nice and straight. Right foot's going to be nice and flat on the ground. I'm going to work the left leg here. Pull the left heel up towards your bum and let it control back down. Nice and steady. Three, four. So try and squeeze the muscle as you pull back. And nice and controlled on the way there. Five. If you feel any pain during this exercise, now I'll just try it on the opposite leg or just move on to the next exercise. So just one more time, pull up and back down. So again, I'm just going to rest now for a minute, well not a minute, a few seconds. If you ever need any more time to rest or any of the exercises, just hit pause in the video and press play then when you're feeling like you can move on. 
So we're going to go again, left leg again, up nice and tall, rest the hands and call on up, come back there, nice and controlled, nice and steady. Halfway there. If this is tight on your edge, you can always do fewer reps, take a longer rest. Eight, nine, just one more rep, and ten. Okay, so we're going to move it on to the opposite leg now. So it's the same format again. Resting the hands on the chair or on the countertop, wherever you're comfortable. Left leg nice and flat on the ground. Stand up nice and tall and just pull the heel up towards you. Right leg this time. Squeeze the muscle again. You should be walking the back of the leg. Halfway there, keep it going. Nice and controlled. On the way down. Three more reps. Nine and ten. So again, we'll rest for a few seconds before we go again. And if you're feeling any pain or any discomfort in this exercise, you can just move on to the next exercise. Okay, so same again. Rest the hands down, stand up nice and tall, pull the heel back towards you. Nice and controlled on the way down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So that's our standing leg call. If you need to do any more exercises, you could do another set of those, or if it's too difficult, just do one set or do fewer reps on each set. This exercise is called the standing leg abduction. So again, you're going to rest your hands on the chair or countertop or table, up nice and tall, and nice and steady, you're bringing your leg away from the side of your body, nice and controlled on the way up, and on the way back down again. Nice and smooth each time. If this causes any pain, either reduce the range of movement you're doing, or you can just sit out of this exercise and move on to the next one. So. Eight, nine, and ten, and rest. So you should feel this exercise on the hips, okay? So because you're balancing on one leg, you'll feel it on the leg that's standing as well, all right? And you'll feel it on the leg you're moving, just around the hips. So again, if that was very tasking for you, the first set, reduce the sets, or just leave it at the one set for today, and the next time, try and increase the sets again, uh, the next set, okay? So off we go again, hands in the chair, nice and steady, lift the leg up out to the side, and back down. Nice and smooth each time. Nice and controlled. So just do two more. Nine. And ten. And rest again. So we'll move on to the right leg next. After we've taken a wee break. And up nice and tall, keep your standing foot nice and flat, and you're just going to bring the right leg out to the side this time, and back down. So if you're unbalanced as you're doing it, you can always just stop for a second, regain your balance, and then continue on. If you're finding it a bit easier, try not to let the foot rest back down, and keep it moving. Two more, nine, ten, rest. 
rest again for a few seconds. Again, if you felt like that was too much, take a rest. Move on to the next exercise. Alright, last set then on the right leg. Up nice and tall. Hands resting. Moving the leg out to the side. Again, if you're finding it easy, don't let the leg rest back then. If you're finding it too difficult, rest the leg then and then go again. Eight, nine, and last one, ten. Okay, so that's our leg standing leg abduction. Size is called knee bends. So, we're going to begin again holding on to our countertop or our chair. Feet about shoulder width apart, so just move them out nice and wide. Stand up nice and tall. And all we're going to do is bend the knees, let them fall come forward, and stand back up nice and tall. So nice and steady. Let the knees come down. Back up nice and tall. Try and look straight ahead now. Keep the head up. And back up again. So try not to look down at the knees or at the floor. Just trust your body to move down nice and steady and back up. If you're having any pains or aches while you do this exercise, you can just move on to the next one. So we're going for 10 reps here. So we're nearly there, just three more to do. One more. Then, and back up. So again, we'll take about 10 or 20 second break before we move into the next one. If you feel like you need a longer break in any of these exercises, just hit pause on the video, and when you're feeling ready, just press play again. So, let's get set up again. Hands resting on the chair. Get the feet nice and wide. Try and keep the toes pointing straight ahead if you can. Try and look out in front. Bend the knees back up nice and tall. Nice and steady on the way down. Back up nice and tall. Down and back up. Five. Halfway there. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more. And 10. Okay, so that's our knee bend on. 